The following presentation is brought to you by Ron Geyer, a professional guide, outdoor writer, and wildlife photographer. Ron's experience in the field as a hunter, guide, and journalist spans decades and travels all throughout the world. These chapters from his video, The Guide's Guide to Hunting, The Complete Guide to Wild Hog Field Care, is provided as a courtesy to RMTV viewers to help educate, inform, and better prepare you as a hunter and a sportsman for your next upcoming wild hog hunt. Wild hogs have yet to invade and start massive damage here in Colorado, but many experts say it's only a matter of a few years until they invade this state as well. As of now, wild hogs and the destruction they are causing in many states is totally out of control. Wild hog hunts, guided and unguided, many of Colorado's neighboring states are some of the most inexpensive and affordable big game hunting opportunities to be found anywhere in the nation. They are ideal for trophy hunters, new hunters, and young hunters. The Complete Guide to Wild Hog Field Care offers step-by-step -step instructions and video chapters on game care in the field and processing, field dressing, tools, skinning, quartering, caping, and caring for your trophy. A full 69 minutes that will make you a master in the field once your hunt is over and it's time to take care of your wild game. To get your own and complete copy of The Complete Guide to Wild Hog Field Care, contact Tracker Marketing, 4130 Pinewood Lake Drive, Bakersfield, California, 93309. Full and complete price is only $19.95 plus $3 shipping and handling. Good shot, man. You can. Nice shot, nice shot. <laughs> Before you take to the field on your first wild hog hunt, here are a few things to consider. Let's talk about hog habits. First of all, hogs are very active uh, at night. They feed at night, they're nocturnal animals. So, your best chance of finding hogs are at the first hour of daylight in the morning and that last hour of daylight at night. When food is available, hogs spend most of the time feeding at night and you, it's hard to find them during the day. They're, they go to cover early and bed down. When food sources become scarce, you'll find hogs out feeding longer. So you might see hogs feeding at 10 o'clock in the morning. So your best chance to find a wild pig when you're doing a spot and stalk is to get on a ridge line early in the morning or late in the afternoon and scan the bedding areas for those hogs moving from the brush. And seeing pigs before they see you is critical. They have an excellent sense of smell. You must keep the wind in your favor if you're gonna have a chance at stalking up on a hog. Wild hogs are true omnivores. They'll eat anything. I mean, we're talking about snakes, uh, dead cow carcasses, uh, roots and berries, grains, anything they can get their nose and teeth around they're gonna eat. But one of their primary food sources are acorns here in California especially. They'll eat grains in barley fields. In the springtime, they'll eat wild flowers and, and oak grasses when they start to dry in early summer. So if you want to find wild hogs, look for their food sources. An area that's devoid of oak trees and has no grasses, there's not a lot of food for those uh, wild hogs. Let's talk about shot placement on a wild hog. I find it helpful to divide the pig in half both horizontally and vertically. That gives you four quarters. Now, first off, I want to say it does you absolutely no good to shoot the back half of a pig. First of all, the hams are some of the best meat on the pig and you wouldn't want to fire around through both hams. So you concentrate on the front half of the pig. Now the lower half of that front half of the pig is where the heart is located, right directly behind that front leg. 
can be a difficult shot. If you shoot low, and you'll break a leg, and the pig will run off on three legs, and you'll never find that hog. You take that upper half of the front half of the pig, and you'll hit the lungs. The other great shot on a pig is the head shot. Now, if the pig is within 60 or 80 yards, even out to 100 yards, and you're a competent marksman, that head shot right at the base of the ear will put the pig down and not damage any of the meat. So if you're after trophy boar, aim for his heart or lungs. If you want a sow that you're going to take to the table, you want to damage none of the meat, take the head shot. Here are some of the cuts of meat that you're going to get from a wild hog. The hams. You've got the front shoulders, and you've got the ribs. You've also got the back straps, which are muscles that run along both sides of the spine on the back of the pig. And then, last but not least, are the tenderloins, which are on the inside of that spine, back toward the hams. Taking these tips to the field will help improve your hog hunt experience. RMTV will be running more of Ron Geyer's The Guide's Guide to Hunting, the complete guide to wild hog field care in future episodes. Make sure you order your own personal copy today at Tracker Marketing, 4130 Pinewood Lake Drive, Bakersfield, California, 93309, or order online at www.theguidesguidetohunting.com.